Hello! If you're just finding my channel for the first time, my name is Frank the Pegasus and I play games. Uh, today we're going to actually go over some of cast and build slash buy items from the newest Sims pack, Strangerville. Let's dive into it. But first I think we should probably address the real reason that you're all here. I know. I get it. All right, welcome to The Sims 4 Strangerville. Welcome to Strangerville, a seemingly normal world shrouded in secrecy. Watch the world change before you as you dig deeper and deeper into the mystery. Unravel its secrets to the world, fall in love with its charm. Roger that. Join the new military career where your sim can become a grand marshal or maybe take the path of a covert operator. Keep tabs on suspicious or maybe not that suspicious sims in the world. Leave no stone unturned with the new Strangerville mystery aspiration. Your sims will be head will be in head first into the investigation. Can your sims uncover what is truly behind what is plaguing the town? Mm. Secret lab. Locals say that they have that ever since the secret lab got built, the town has been acting weird, but the only way to find out is to investigate uh, traverse the town's lo the lowest levels of the secret lab to see what hides beneath the curtain. Behind the curtain. The phrase has never been beneath the curtain. It's behind the curtain. I'm a smarty. Okay, so... Thanks, bud. We're gonna start with... We'll start with the dude and then we'll do a lady and we'll go through the cast items and kind of see what's what. I'll probably put the cast items on both a dude and a lady because... Who in the heck cares, am I right? So it looks like we have some new hair. Give me that sweet strange of it. Oh, all right. I'm already digging the braids on him. So yeah, this is why. This is why you do this. Like I'm pretty sure, excuse you, tell me he doesn't look ruggedly handsome. Excuse you. Also, I cannot wait to get this hair on a lady. This looks great. This looks super duper great. I'm super excited about this. These braids are so cute. They're so cute. They're gonna be so good for like little cowgirls or man, I don't even know, some funky rave chick. Look at this. Or just him. I dig him. Let's do <laughs> this beautiful Viking. I can't with these braids. Um, this looks like a great mop, moppy hairdo. I could see this on either a male or female sim or anywhere in between non-binary sims represent. I really love mixing and matching what is supposed to be a masculine versus feminine style because I really find that the more you play with it, the more you find that they kind of fit both. Ooh, we got options. So this one has a bunch of great color options here, which is great. Um, but they're all very kind of that like southwestern vibe, I guess, which is what we've seen of the world exactly what we're all about. So I really, really dig this this aviator hat. See, this is what I'm saying. The cowboy hat with the braids. They knew what was up. Um, I really dig the green stripe on this one. But this, this is like that like almost like burnt wicker kind of, oh, I'm in. I'm in for this. Heck yes. Heck to the yes. This might be from other things that I've never looked at. I'm terrible about cast things. Oh no, we do have a necklace. Don't worry about this. We're just gonna take his shirt off really quickly. He's sunbathing, guys. It's fine. Alright, I gotta see this necklace and it's in its full glory. Yeah. Yeah. This is so very like Arizona Southwestern. I'm super in. This is so cute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a fantastic, gorgeous ornate necklace what in the actual this is so over the top this necklace is so extra let's go to our tops shall we there is a, a plethora of colors for him to wear in this fabulous blouse i do actually kind of dig him in it except that it kind of gives him breasts which like he can have breasts but it's weird because he didn't before so giving him that now just because of the shirt. This one does it less so, which is nice. This is kind of a nice like grandma sweater though, except that you can see uh, the bra that th they put through it. That part doesn't read so much grandma to me. This purple one especially though, I could totally see like a hip grandma wearing this. Just being like, yeah, I like to knit. I think it's the lace up the sides. I 
love this jacket. I love it so much. So this is where we get our dog tags from, for sure. Um, at least one of the options, it looks like. I don't know if the other one is just like a work uniform, maybe, um, that we've seen in the gifts, but it's very possible. I really dig this one, though. <gasps> with the oh, with the t-shirt, the, the graphic tee underneath. Yes, please. Yes, please. Stop. This is what he's meant to wear. I really love that they did so many really southwestern colors in all of these styles. They really they really embody kind of where Strangerville is, seemingly. Um, I think he rocks this. I think this is marked feminine, but I think he rocks this. I completely see him wearing this. Do you not with the fringe? The fringe is so fantastic. <gasps> I, I love this. I think a lot of people will hate this. I think a lot of people will think this is really ugly. I am not one of them. <laughs> this is another one that kind of, again, gives him the kind of a appearance of maybe he has boob, probably meant for a female form. It tucked in makes him look a little stuffy. I could totally see like a really cute skirt with this. I think that could totally work. I don't know if this is meant to be masculine or feminine, which I love. It's perfection. I could see this going both ways. It's got that kind of relaxed tank feel that I could totally see a woman rocking but he looks like he's just super chilled in this in this deep V. It's hot where he lives, so he's just gonna wear this this deep V outfit. I dig this, I really, really dig this. So this is what I think of when I think of like a high schooler. <laughs> it's just a little boyish, isn't it? I like the colors that they gave us though. And they gave us some that were plaid versus solids. I think this one's nice with the gold buttons. I do like this shirt. I don't mean to make fun of it. It just does look a little boyish to me. So again, I don't know about you guys, but I could totally see like a hip grandma wearing this. I do think that, again, some of them are kind of younger. This color is my favorite color of all time. Give me mustard anything and I'm there. I really like that they gave us a couple of ombres that this one is stunning. I'm gonna lie, I thought there was a little bit of lace detail in this cuff area. I didn't realize that the, uh, the lace detail I was seeing was actually just his his tattoos under there. Again, I don't know if this is exactly supposed to be masculine or feminine. I think just by the way it's draped on him, it they give they give like a kind of a chest to the the clothes that are meant to be feminine, I think. But I think this one kind of goes both ways. I think you could probably manipulate the sim to kind of rock this both ways. Again, not entirely sure if masculine or feminine. This color combination Look at that detail in the back. Gorgeous, Henny, gorgeous. I like this jacket, I like his one casual button. This shirt underneath is really cool. Um, okay. This is the first one he's looked pretty ridiculous in. I have to see this one on a lady shape because I feel like him in this does not do it justice. <laughs> It just is not very form flattering on you, is it, honey? Oh, it's okay. This jacket though. What is happening with your belly? What? Are, I didn't adjust him, I swear. Is this also a lady's jacket? Something's happening with his belly here. The shape of this one is a little odd. Again, not entirely sure if this is meant to be for a lady or a dude. Oh my God, this color. Yes. Okay, no, just kidding, this color. <laughs> Give me these Easter colors, I love this. Oh. Okay, these are just gonna be straight up dresses that I'm putting you in. That's not fair. <laughs> I said I would, so we're gonna take a look. He's, uh, he looks very uncomfortable. This is, I can't, okay. Who's wearing this dress? I don't know about this one. I think they might've missed the mark on this one. I like this suit though. The suit is pretty snazzy. It's a little old timey though, with the flared pant and, you know, the bolo tie. I feel like it's very costumey. I do like the color combination. I like the jacket. I like the jacket and vest. It's really the pants that kind of are throwing me off. Okay, you're just a lab coat. You're like a, do you work in the new secret lab maybe? This is really cute. The bottom is like a little confusing with the ruffle and how heavy it is with this crop top. Again, I'm really loving these colors. This is great. And the paisley print, I think, kind of works. I'm not super in love with it, but it's be it's definitely <laughs> it's better than the first one. This is also really cute. I'm excited to see these on the Lady Sim. They're just not super form flattering, and then they still give him, like, the chest. That's the oddest part, is that it kind of has, like, a built-in chest to it, which I never really realized, I guess. I feel like I've used masculine things on feminine 
Sims before, but maybe I don't really go the other way around as much, which is terrible. I shouldn't do that to them. So this is again a flared pant. I do think that flared pants are coming back in style. I don't think that that's incorrect, but I don't know that anybody ever wanted floodwater pants. Ugh. See, this is nice. It's more of like a relaxed, skinny fit. And I think I, maybe that's just what I'm used to. Maybe I'm old fashioned. Maybe I'm out of the, out of trend here. And I like the thigh detail. I think that's really cool. It's just a nice little uh, extra detail. I could totally see this being like a biker dude or, you know, some, some rock star trendy guy. I like these. I love the patchwork. Patchy who? We got this guy now. We got this guy now. He's got his own patchy pants. Mmm, yes. Honey, we should there you go. I'm sorry, BB. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to give you no tush. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe you'll maybe these these dresses do seem to fit him a little bit better now. This skirt does. Oh, I like this brown to teal seafoam green kind of ombre. I don't know, maybe I'm out of touch with fashion. But again, I come back to who's wearing these? These are really cute. I like the decal. Oh good, it changed. These are so cute. Oh, there's one on the pocket too, the back pocket. Look at that, oh, it's so cute. Look at your little tush. Oh, more little decals. It has a nice little belt, so let's take a look at the belt. I like these pants. They're really simple. They're probably not meant for a dude, but I don't care. I think they look great on him. I think he actually rocks it really well. Oh, yes. Thank you. These are pretty great. They look a little bulky, probably because they have to go over the pants. Oh, these are nice, look classic, very classic. Some of them are really flashy and some of them are really classic and I love that. Looks like we have a little bit of a shorter one. This is more uh, form fitting too, like a nice alligator boot. Oh, <gasps> yes, snake skin, mm-hmm. Puts a whole different meaning to there's a snake in my boot. All right, I dig, I dig, I'm in. Mm. See now that that's that's some that's some good stuff. I still dig this. You're really cute. These braids are everything. Can you tell I like the braids? Shut up. See now this is why you take the filters off, especially I think for the hair and things like that. It is this is divine. You look absolutely incredible. Look at that. I like the mop. I think better on a dude. Um, yeah, yes, I do like this. I wonder what this looks like with the longer hair. Oh, it just covers it. Oh, interesting. All right, so we've seen both of these necklaces before. We're only gonna get a, she's wearing a different shirt now so we can see the, the necklaces. This one kind of matches her uh, hat, which I do dig. This is still really great. It's so extra. I'm pretty excited about all of these. Um, I will go back through some of the more feminine styles on the lady that we have here, just because I feel like they the male form just didn't do them justice. They're meant for they're meant for her, clearly. And she looks a lot cuter in them. This one is definitely growing on me. It was not my favorite first pass through. This is also way better. This still this color just looks marmy to me. Like some of these pastels, they just look they look a little dated to me. I know that they're trying to be like, oh, but you can see her bra, so it's hip. I don't hate it, I just don't love this cardigan. I don't know if this one is supposed to be masculine or feminine. I still don't know, and I'm still not mad. I think it looks fabulous, though. I know a lot of people probably will be really unhappy with how this fringe looks. I like the woven bits, and I like the fringe, and I love the braid. Girl, she's hot. This Sam is on fire. She's really cute. I still hate this. This is a personal preference. You probably disagree with me. Feel free to let me know how wrong I am about all of this. Wait, did we see this one? I must have skipped over this one. We definitely skipped over it. This is cute. No, girl, you look good. We totally skipped over it. <laughs> so this one is marked masculine. She make It makes her look pregnant. She looks like she's hiding something. This she rocks though. Yeah, same with this. Totally dig it. This is very like non-binary friendly to me. There's a lot that you, I think you can play with here that's androgynous and I... I'm so appreciative of The Sims being pretty inclusive that way. I preach about their inclusivity all the time. For a game that is made by a company that is super big, The Sims is uh, is doing all right for us, really and truly. All right, sell me on this <laughs> monstrosity. I don't hate it on her. I kind of like it in some of the colors. Some of the colors are still like Overall, I'm pretty happy with these. This I think is also meant for a lady. It, it looks way better on her anyway, so you, you could try and convince me it doesn't, but I think it looks better on her. Mm. See, this one I think looks good either way though. No, just no. Who's gonna wear this? This is such a costume. Like, even this one is 
pretty costumey, and it's just a suit. I will say she looks banging in it, but the pants seem to fit her better, for one. Lady lab scientist, well done. Okay, this is better on her as well. I'm still not totally sold on the skirt. This is adorable. This is adorable hands down, even with her little sneakers. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, she's feeling herself. Okay, so these are actually similar to the pants that we started her in. I still don't understand the high waters. I don't think it works. These shorts are really cute. I do dig. These are still really cute. I think these were probably meant for dudes because they're much more relaxed on her. I think it works. I like how slouchy they are. I do dig that they did a lot with like the topaz and jade and like the, the turquoise, the turquoise stones. Those are... A plus. I still like these patchwork pants. I'm in. We needed something that was like cute, but still kind of shabby. I dig. Also still don't dig. <laughs> it's not my favorite. It's very Southwestern, but it's like Southwestern from like cowboy movies, which are not modern. This is not happening in modern day. Did we see this watch? Did I miss this watch as well? The first pass through? I totally did. Ooh, it's good watch though. Yes. Yes. It's not even a watch. It's a bracelet. Don't care if that's a good watch. I think they are a bit chunky. These taller boots are. I like the shorter ones I think better personally because they're a bit sleeker. I dig them overall though. Okay. So this is my first look at the brand new world. There are 11 lots, I think they said. So let's take a look at all of the different places to live. Welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the floral. Soon after moving in, the town slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking people about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on this strange situation. But for First, this wraparound porch is everything I've ever dreamed of. This is definitely giving me some inspiration to do a, a southern mansion build. Ugh. I do really like the overall look of this. This, this is stunning. This is really beautiful. This is one of those homes that I would love to try and recreate. I don't know that much about southwestern architecture. I don't know how well this exactly fits. This seems to me more like a southern home than a southwestern home. I also don't know things, so. Maybe you guys know better. You can feel free to correct me on that one. This is an estate. It's huge. It almost looks like a hotel to me. It's beautiful. Look at that view. They've done a great job with the view. This is in one of the build lots, so we'll visit this in a little bit. Mm -hmm there's some details going on over here. So we've done these three houses on the hill. It looks like this one is residential, this one with a plane on it, as well as this small lot over here, um, which may or may not have a mobile home on it. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna go this away because it looks like we might have some mobile homes and maybe a trailer and then obviously this wreckage, which I think we're all most excited for. So maybe not so much a mobile home, but definitely a really basic house, pretty plain. And pretty simple. I do like the, all of these little ducks in a row. They kind of all look the same. I actually wish they had done a similar thing with this one. Probably a pretty simple starter home to, to get you going. I love this. So this is more what I was thinking, kind of because all of these houses are so the same. This one looks more similar, but it is still different than the one kind of kitty corner from it. This one definitely fits the theme a little bit better. Although interestingly enough, it seems to be a similar shape to this one back here on that other lot. I like the details a lot on this one. These are new, I think. Oh, I'm so excited to dive into all of the new build items. <sighs> okay, so there are straight up RVs here. This looks like the one that we maybe saw some of the gurus taking pictures in front of. There's also this one over here that has a similar pattern on it, but I distinctly remember there being kind of this yard setup. It doesn't look like it's an actual playable house, but, that said, some of the items that it looks like we're getting definitely make for a convincing trailer if you're if you're asking me. This is definitely <laughs> the most stylized one that we've seen and I'm super excited about that. It looks great. <sighs> okay, our tour continues. It's time to see old Penelope. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you can freaking live here. Does this mean this is like a functional... They are 
are stairs that okay so this was mm, this mm, this was a point of contention as to whether or not these stairs were real or functional for that matter it's real there's a bunker heck yes oh my yes the real question they built this and then placed the airplane on top of it? I have so many questions. This must be the only one that's functional. I wonder if this one is functional. Are you functional? Doesn't look like I can interact with that one. So excited. I'm so excited. Oh, this is really heckin' cool. Strangerville Information Center. This is a little library. There's a little park here. I do like these tables. Okay, so it's pretty basic library inside. We already do see a lab assistant looking very perplexed. 8 a.m., let's go to the bar. This was one of the buildings that I was most excited for because it looked really hip. Yes! All right, the inside of this is everything that I wanted. I love all of the Americana kitschiness that's going on. I was already excited for the build by, but it, this has me even more excited. What are those? Are those eggs? Those are just eggs in a jar? Dude, duh. How can you not be super pumped about this sign? We can go to the lab. Let's go to the lab. Let's do it. I'm I'm nervous for some reason. First things first, this is intense. What happened here? Here are the fruit that we seem to know are the core of this whole thing. What is any of this? I can't wait to explore all of this nonsense. What is happening in here? It's abandoned, there's nobody here. Oh my gosh, there's just piles everywhere. I don't know what to think, I don't know what to think. Okay, all right, we gotta dive in. So first things first, I maintain that this is just a ridiculously gorgeous view. So there are some prefab rooms, the hunker down bunker, ominous observatory, garden meta of metamorphosis, and Larry's old watering hole. <laughs> These usually do a pretty good job of like displaying a lot of the new items. We're obviously gonna go more in depth into them, but I wanted you to kind of see them in a scene because I'm not gonna lay them out in scenes like this. I'm just gonna place them on the lawn. I, this is the thing I was most excited about in this trailer. I want you to know, I saw this and immediately freaked out. Is that a heckin' Chia pet? <laughs> I didn't think it is. This is really cute. The stain on the floor, what? Mm, I have questions. Looks like there's floor staining. This looks like it might be a rug. Like it's, it is. <sighs> okay, just calm down, calm down, Frank. <laughs> this guy fits so well in here, it's perfect. And then this was the observatory, it looks like. With the little gnome inside, that's a nice touch. Good job, guys. <laughs> Color me intrigued. All right, let's start. So we've got this beautiful, this pretty beauty, which comes in a bunch of different colors and kind of varying distresses. It looks like some of them are a little less distressed looking. Um, and then we also have this crazy sighting, which like all together gets very spacey very quickly. And it also comes in a variety of colors here. Wow. Oh, the way it catches the light. I really like this. Okay, cool. So we have floors now. All right. So we have this kind of basic linoleum pattern. It looks dirty. And then we have this which looks like it tiles. I'm gonna show you, I think, four square swatches of this one. I don't, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a carpeting or tile. It's listed as a tile. We don't have any of the extra tall doors, but we have a few different short doors and several of the medium doors. We'll start with our basic three short doors here. This green is really pretty, um, but I'm glad they gave us several different wood tones, it looks like, as well as these trims are really, Cool. This almost looks like the wood from Seasons, which currently matches almost nothing. So I think that might be good. I don't know how much the trims are gonna match things. That's one of my only big concerns. This one just has a few like different distresses, it looks like. So there's kind of this clean bunker door, but then like this one's seen some stuff. This one's mostly on like the outside of an RV, like they've traveled in it. Um, and this one is a conspiracy door, very clearly. This one also has a couple of different varying distresses, kind of. Or I guess the, the first one is the, the distressed one, and then it gets clean in three different variations. All of these are over here, are only two, two spots wide. 
Mm, so these come in the similar colors to the other door that we saw. So at least we have some matching sets within this pack, which they're usually pretty good about. Um, I do really like... This one kind of looks brownstone to me, like it belongs in New York somewhere. Same with this. This door overall kind of looks brownstone to me. Um, I like the way they did the details on a lot of these, how, what they decided to paint which color, because it really gives it an added interest that I don't necessarily expect. I also love the lock placement on this door in particular. Ah, oh, the changing in the glass work on this. Looks like they did a couple of patterns for the glass work and they're exquisite, really. It's a beautiful, beautiful door. This archway though, I'm probably gonna use this in every build ever from now on. This is such a cottage archway and I freaking love to do cottage builds. Mmm. <laughs> This one's intriguing. I can see Disney princess stuff with this this style as well. Oh my goodness, the glasswork on both of these are just gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna start with the medium windows. Looks like we only have two versions of the medium windows, just matching colors to what we were seeing before. These are pretty simple paintings, it looks like. They're just flat. Also Disney princess. These windows, however, are very southern, and they do have a little bit more detail painted on them. Okay, so the pillars do the same. They give you a little bit more detail. This is really cute. <laughs> I'll give you the 360 on those. That is super cute. Okay, so you could create some really, some really nice trellises with this one. With this, this also kind of reminds me of my grandparents' house. They had some details like this in their, in their home, and I really loved it. So this is just super precious. Um, and this one, I absolutely adore. I think it's just so elegant and subtle. Okay, so so far this pack is definitely worth it for build stuff for me. Looks like we have a few different pieces of fence. This one's just a marker on the ground. It does come in a bunch of different colors, um, including kind of your like caution tape, I guess, color and your candy cane color. Yes. Yes, sir. Sure. I love the way they did all of the metals. The sheen on these are really, really great. Yes. 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 This is the most freaking precious thing I've ever seen. This little picket fence. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, this one's growing on me. Mostly with these color variations. I don't know if I'm going to like it without the color variation in it because it's just a heavy fence. <laughs> there you go. There are all of your fence colors. I do like all of the different colors. Especially this picket fence. Oh, you're so cute. You're so, you're so cute. <laughs> I'm mad that they used this railing of all of them because it was my least favorite fence. And in order to match, you probably would be locked into using that other fence. That said, I think we have railings that you could get away with with the other fences. And it is cute. It's cuter as a railing than it is as a fence. <laughs> I do like the railing. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it looks like we have one gate for each kind of fence. Um, we already know what all the different colors are gonna look like. This gate is Pick a fence gate, real simple, as it should be. This is a two wide. This is how the color interaction is working, just so you guys can kind of see the ones that have multiple colors. What you got for me, friends? A display case that comes in several different colors. Looks like d things don't sit on top of it. Well, see, you can't really put things in it, per se. So that's curious. It looks like we have a flag stand. I said that word so carefully just now because I didn't want you guys to come for me. Um, so this is a one whole item that they used in the bar. It does come in a bunch of different varieties here. It doesn't change any of the items on it. It just changes the colors it looks like. Okay, my most anticipated item. <laughs> I just don't, look at its tongue. Look at its stupid. Oh my God. I just am so happy about it. I also like the Chia Pet. I didn't see the Chia Pet, I don't think. That could make for some freaking great haunted houses. This is one whole item. It does have some succulents that we don't have access to. Is this a light? I wasn't expecting this to be a light, but it apparently casts... Sure enough. That's cooler than I thought it was. I didn't realize this was a new item. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a bad simmer. I thought this was already in our game. Sure, why not? 
This one's a, a UFO kind of ceiling lamp. Oh, it's cute. They totally are lava lamps. I wonder, it gives it to you in a bunch of different colors. They cast obviously different light. So this is where we were getting that very tall or like really crazy vine. And I'm a guess there's another one that's like a rug. This has got to be related to the mother, the mother thing that we were seeing before. Bookcase. Tall, beautiful bookcase. Ah, this is where all of our science stuff is. Oh my goodness, so much. What even is that? Inconspicuous wall. <laughs> That's inconspicuous? Hello? <laughs> There's so much lab stuff in here. It's kind of absurd. Look at all of this. Redacted tendril. Holy moly. The Blink-O-Matic. With three sides of blinking lights, no blinking light display blinks more than the Blink-O-Matic. Sims never change. The Pillar of Opulence. And then I scooted up to the oversized metal wall bracket self-illuminating. So this one must also have a light on it. Oh, look at that. They actually look really cool in the dark. The stairs also kind of glow. Cool, cool, cool. Glass top stage stairs. Con plant containment cell. Although we did see a gnome in it. <laughs> The listening device with the chair and without the chair. The Texnic? Why you do this to me, Sim? Tinkering table and the experimental aluminum slate. We have like files. This is the paper clutter. There's more paper clutter. Top secret monitor display. A non-functional air conditioner. Oversized uniform accoutrement. This is just a rug, a really cute rug. <laughs> I like a lot of these patterns. Um, okay, so this was the training bot that we kept seeing. Um, more bar stuff, which I'm in love with. The knick-knack bric-a-brac shack. <laughs> this was the epic DIY shower. Heavy metal, heavy duty stuff. Kind of give you the variations. This one actually changes the picture on it. Broken? Is shattered? Yeah, it's a shattered glass. Uh, this one's just, you know, different, faded. This one has a bunch of different vibes to it. Maybe some superhero kind of vibes too. Just a couple different colors, although I do like the purple one. Looks like this one changes with, we. I don't have it there, I don't know why I'm going back there, but with the wall color that we have for it. So you got a couple different shower options, a couple different shelf color options, which does brighten, brighten it up a little bit if it's gonna be in your sad bunker. You got a couple different toxic waste colors <laughs> and sizes to play with. Beakers and burners, cute. Cute. Unorganized documents. We'll put those up with our other unorganized documents and some pretty organized documents. Uh, this is more of that plant and it goes on the floor. So it's like a rug. All right, so we have the straight up stain. That's just one big, uh, we've got this one, which is kind of a half stain, I guess. They also come in different colors. So that one looks kind of like a bloody water stain. And then from what I saw, yeah, there's this semicircle as well so you could totally kind of combine all of these and really like layer them up because they kind of show through each other it looks like there are also these stains that we can put on walls so again we got a couple different colors ew 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 Routes. vertical spray nozzle this is some definite americana stuff that i'm super all for soundtastic fantastic royale it is indeed a jukebox these heckin laptops we have a standard portable computer. Give you white, silver, black. Then we have the customized portable computer. And it comes in more fun colors. Do we place this? Look at that bed. Military bed. I don't even know that the lot that I'm currently on fits the airplane. And we'll start with the smaller pieces. So we know wings are just flat items. They're just an item that you just straight up place. We also have the engine. That's pretty little. I want to see if I can fit the whole thing on the lot. This is the head of the plane. It doesn't look like walls do anything to it. I don't think this is a functional item any more than the wings or anything like that are. This is effing huge, but it's hollow completely inside. I'm super excited to use this because I think that's it could be a cool shed in a really big backyard <laughs> or like a playground or something. You could put stuff in there. Like this is definitely could sit on top of a lot that is just a basement. So that's really stinking cool. Really, really stinking cool. Okay, so that's gonna do it for all of the cast items and the build and buy items. I will be going through all of the 
story stuff on stream on Monday. So if you want to see my take on all of that, feel free to follow. That's at twitch.tv slash Frank the Pegasus. And if you want to subscribe here, I've been playing through Kingdom Hearts, so feel free to join along in that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I adore you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.